Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about intuition. Now, this is a video created in response to one of our recent comments on a video we did about tabernacles and how there are some individuals who will have a rapture type experience during the Feast of Tabernacles. In that video, we was talking about the different definitions of the word rapture. One of which being a mystical experience in which the spirit is exalted to a knowledge of divine things. Well, in this video, we're going to show how intuition actually falls into that category. Now, this class will be coming out of the Third Testament of the Bible. This is Coaching the Fight, part of Hermes Academy. And as you know, we teach from all scripture. We teach from the New Testament of the Bible. We teach from the Old Testament of the Bible. We teach from all of the apocryphal books as well as the lost books and even the Dead Sea Scrolls. And we teach from the Third Testament of the Bible, which you can find a link to in the description of this video, both an audio book and a PDF that you can download to your computer. Many people are becoming aware of this book. All who have taken time to actually read the book have recognized it as inspired writing. However, just like in the old days, you had a lot of people who rejected the Old Testament of the Bible as being fictional. There are those who are doing the same thing with the Third Testament of the Bible with the same intent, no doubt, and that is to distract people of goodwill from ever going in and reading it in other words they don't want to read it and they don't want you to read it either but anyway we're not going to worry about those guys because just like the kingdom of heaven is not for everybody our father's word is not for everybody either it's really only for the few all right, now let's jump over here and let's look at chapter 17 of the Third Testament of the Bible. This is one of the most important chapters in the scripture because it teaches us how to pray. It teaches us the different elements of communication with our Father. It teaches us how to have an effective prayer. If you've ever wondered why some people's prayers don't get answered while others do, you might want to read chapter 17 of the Third Testament of the Bible. And you can check out many videos we've done on the subject as we see it as one of our primary responsibilities. And that is teaching people how to pray. But anyway, we're going to jump down to verse 120 of chapter 17 as it addresses the different ways in which our father communicates with us we learn in this chapter that we communicate to him through prayer which includes petition contemplation adoration and intercession but in this video we actually want to talk about how he communicates with us how does he talk back to us well let's read verse 120 it says Oh, how different is the conduct of he who forgets to pray and keep watch. Voluntarily, he renounces defending himself with the best arms I have placed in man, which are faith, love, and the light of wisdom. It is he who does not hear the inner voice that speaks to him through intuition, his conscience, and his dreams. This is how our Father communicates with us. Intuition, conscience, and our dreams now I'm sure we understand what dreams are in the scripture a lot of times they are referred to as night visions we learn in the third testament of the Bible that dreams are how our father communicates with our spirit man that's why many times our fleshly man doesn't understand those dreams it's because those dreams were sent directly to our spirit and then we also learn that conscious is that small, still voice that we hear that persuades us to righteousness. 
it basically reminds us of the difference between what's right and what's wrong that is actually the voice of God that we hear in there but of course a lot of times it takes effort to hear that voice we may need to do a lot of praying a lot of fasting we may even need to do some charitable deeds and find a place out in nature in order to listen to that voice but when we learn to hear that voice the voice of the conscious we are actually hearing from the voice of God as I like to remind you guys especially for those who are new to our channel our father is actually already returned he dwells in our conscious we just have to take the time to recognize him there and of course most people on the planet rejecting that idea altogether will only realize that he has returned after the earth has been severely shaken and almost destroyed as they sit there amongst the rubble with nothing but the voices in their head will they realize that our father has returned but again we don't need to wait on that day we can realize it now so the third form of communication that we see here in this verse is actually intuition and looking back over here at the Merriam-Webster dictionary for a definition of the word intuition it says the power or faculty of obtaining to direct knowledge or cognition without evident rational thought and evidence now compare that to this definition over here for the word rapture which is a mystical experience in which the spirit is exalted to a knowledge of divine things so you have mystical experience which the spirit is exalted to a knowledge of divine things and over here you have a similar definition without evident of rational thought that's mystical which shows a direct relationship to intuition and rapture in other words an increased level of intuition is a form of rapture some of the other parts to this definition are immediate comprehension or cognition knowledge or conviction gained by intuition quick or ready insight in short intuition is our ability to know stuff even before we are taught and that's kind of why I wanted to do this class because there's a lot of people who have been making comments on our channel especially here recently as we talk about lesser known scripture who will come out and say stuff like I already knew that or something told me that without fully recognizing the source of that knowledge and I believe that it's important to recognize that that is actually intuition one of the ways in which our father communicates with us if we don't recognize this source we could find ourselves being a little bit arrogant as we think we are a little bit smarter than everybody else or we could think that we're somehow special or have some special powers that allows us to understand scripture even before we read it well through this class we're going to understand that that's actually intuition that is the father's voice that's talking to us and that and so from now on we should properly recognize it as such but anyway let's go on in this class we're going to step down and we're going to look at the word intuition as it is talked about in the third testament of the bible now we're still down here in chapter 17 of the third testament of the bible let me read verse 161 it says at the moment of penetrating the spiritual ecstasy the awakening of the superior senses is obtained 
intuition surges the inspiration glows the future is perceived and the spiritual life touches what is distant and makes possible what before seems impossible now doesn't this all seem like a mystical experience in which the spirit is exalted to a knowledge of divine things there are a lot of people around the world who are experiencing this during this time so many in fact were wondering if this could be that secret rapture that we've heard about for many this is actually an awakening but is it the great awakening that we are expecting I only have intuition to rely on so let's go on so we're gonna jump down here to chapter 30 of the third testament of the Bible which is called the development of the spirit through reincarnation now this is always a subject that I enter in on hesitantly because there are many people enjoying the present church age under the doctrine of the Protestant and Catholic Church who want to reject the idea of reincarnation which was a part of the original scripture before Justinian a Catholic authoritarian figure actually had the words replaced in the Bible in other words he took out the word reincarnation and replaced it with resurrection but you know I really can't worry about those individuals who gets wrapped around the axle when I bring this subject up I learned a long time ago that when you're driving a huge bus you can't worry about small animals so as those individuals dance around like squirrels in the road down there in the comment section understand I will run you over in fact I see it as the driver of this big bus my responsibility to ignore you ensuring the safety of everybody that's on the bus but anyway let's read down here halfway through verse 56 it says reincarnation is not only of this time but of all times but do not think that this mystery has not been revealed before from the first times an intuition has existed in man about the reincarnation of the spirit now this is the part that seems a little bit strange when we have debates about whether reincarnation is real or not because almost everybody when you have these conversations has an intuition that they have a spirit man inside of them that's actually going to live forever they understand intuitively that even though after their body is dead their spirit is going to live forever and you even hear people talking about see your next lifetime or in my next life and stuff like that that's actually intuition teaching them about reincarnation now down here in verse 32 which is incarnation nature and duties of human beings verse 16 says of the spirit there remain only two attributes present the conscious and the intuition but the personality the works performed and the past are temporarily hidden so this we learn that even though we are reincarnated it is impossible for us to understand who it was or who we were in the previous lifetimes because the only attributes that follow us from one lifetime to another is our conscious and our intuition when you think about it for a second it's probably easy to understand where intuition comes from I believe I should say I think intuition of certain knowledges could be something that we learned in previous lifetimes maybe that's how we understand how to do certain things because we've actually done them before verse 40 of the same chapter says truly I tell you that from the first days of humanity man has had the intuition that within he bore a spiritual being a being in which though invisible manifested itself in various works of his life in other words our intuition is telling us 
that we have a spirit inside of us not only the holy spirit holy holy ghost that we talked about earlier which is the voice of god but we all are spiritual individuals and we've recognized this even from the first days of humanity it is during the great awakening that we're actually going to come in contact with this spirit being but anyway let's jump down here in verse 59 of chapter 33 which is called men and women parents and children family and marriage verse 59 says spiritually you have traveled a long road and now you are surprised by the intuition and the development that the new generations show from their most tender infancy this is talking about the next generation of people talking about how the children have more intuition than the adults it goes on to say the reason why is because they are spirits that have lived much and now return to walk at the front of humanity in other words these children who have a greater sense of intuition are those who will be the leaders in the kingdom of heaven that thousand year reign that will start after the tribulation now down in verse 71 of the same chapter it says pure young women of this people awaken and prepare yourselves for the battle do not be blinded by the passions of the heart nor dazzled by what is not real develop your gifts of intuition and inspiration as well as your tenderness and sensitivity so our intuition needs development it says strengthen yourselves in truth and you will have prepared the best weapons for facing the struggle this life presents so is this how it is that is telling us to develop our intuition by strengthening ourselves in truth well there are many voices going on in our head not only is it the father in there talking to us in there but it is ourselves in there and it may be some other individuals in there talking as well well when we recognize the difference between what is true and what is not we can start to rely more on intuition in other words if we don't know what the facts are we could fall for the falsehoods and follow wrong hunches or wrong perceptions all right let's jump down to chapter 45 of the third testament of the bible which is called predestination sense and compliance of life looking at verse 33 it says your spiritual path is unknown to your material form I have left it imprinted in your spirit so that it may be like an open book revealed to you by the conscious and intuition talking about our spiritual past like we said earlier we can't recognize who we were in our previous lifetimes some of us may have been kings in previous lifetimes but we can't recognize this by our material form however this information is imprinted on our conscious and our intuition we saw that in the previous verses when it told us that the only thing that goes from one lifetime to the other is our conscious and our intuition I've been thinking on these verses for a long time does this mean that we could actually be of a different gender in another lifetime was I a woman in a past lifetime it says that our personality doesn't go with us and a lot of other things doesn't go with us if only conscious and intuition remain as verse 16 of chapter 32 says I don't know something to think about next we're gonna jump down to chapter 48 of the third testament called spiritual gifts and spiritualization verse 13 says all of you possess the gift of the spirit 
which are beginning to develop in the third era due to the evolution reached by your spirits intuition foresight revelation prophecy and inspiration are manifesting in a clear way among humanity and it is this that proclaims the new era we remember in the old testament it says that your young men will dream dreams and the old men would have visions or something like that this increase in intuition along with foresight revelation prophecy and inspiration or signals that humanity is waking up that we're getting ready for the millennial age that is pretty much imminent at this point also in chapter 48 verse 16 says intuition which is clairvoyance presentiment and prophecy clears the mind and makes the heart beat in response to the messages and voices it receives from the infinite these voices from the infinite is our father intuition is one of the ways that he's communicating with us but over here we see the biblical definition of intuition it says clairvoyance presentiment and prophecy clairvoyance is the power or faculty of discerning objects not present to the senses the ability to perceive matters beyond the range of ordinary perception presentiment is a feeling that something will or is about to happen and prophecy is an inspired utterance of a prophet or the function or vacation of a prophet or a prediction of something to come these are all elements of intuition we see a lot of times over in the book of revelations how it talks about the testimony of Jesus Christ well you see in verse 10 of chapter 19 that the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy anyway verse 17 says by means of the gift of intuition which I have given to all men you may discover many things hidden among the heart's secrets many tragedies that affect not only the earthly lives but also the spirits of your brothers this is some of the power of intuition we see here this gift of intuition which is given to all men we may discover many things hidden by the heart secrets in other words through intuition we can start to recognize the pains and sufferings of our brother even before he tells us what's actually going on with him verse 18 says how can one enter this intimacy of the hearts without wounding them or profaning their secrets how can one discover the hidden pains that shadow the lives of our brothers I have already told you intuition the gift that is part of spiritual sight and which will reach full development in you through prayer shall show you the way to calm the pain of each one of your fellow men intuition helps us to see inside of the heart of our brother in order to help him but like we talked about earlier it has to be developed well one of the ways in which we develop it we see right here is through prayer now looking at chapter 54 which is struggles between doctrines religions and churches verse 29 says my light is in all but only those who pray and prepare can see it my light speaks through presentiments through inspiration intuition and through dreams and warnings again this development comes through prayer if we wanted to develop our intuition we do so by prayer and preparation and of course when it talks about preparation it's talking about obedience to the law which is Exodus chapter 20 through 24 verse 7 the more we come into compliance with that contract that our father made with us the more our intuition will increase along with presentiments and inspiration as well as dreams and warnings which is the way 
that he speaks to us. This is his communication pathways that he talks to us and he talks to our spirit. Let me read that again. He says, my light speaks through presentiments, through inspiration, intuition, and through dreams and warnings. Chapter 63 is the teachings of the congregation and all the disciples of Christ. Verse 165 says, conscious, intuition, and knowledge are the guides that go with you to point out the path of right and to help you to avoid stumbling blocks. Intuition is pointing out the path of right and helping us to avoid stumbling blocks. It says, these lights are of the spirit, but it is necessary to let them shine. When that clarity is found in each of you, you will exclaim, Father, your seed of redemption has sprouted in my being, and your word has finally flowered in my life. Many will call that a rapture moment. A state or experience of being carried away by overwhelming emotion. Also in chapter 63 it says, But verily I say unto you that this is one of the revelations that will more deeply touch the spirit during this period in which there is an awakening of intuition regarding the great truths. Man is awaiting a great awakening. Not only those listening to this video and the other multitude of people that are experiencing a surge of intuition but all of humanity has this to look forward to verse 253 says there are those who through their intuition foresee accept and believe in this as something that, that cannot be lacking in my love and justice for men yet there will also be many who call you liars and blasphemers you want to see some of those look down in the comment section of this video verse 381 in the same chapter says in them you will find sorrow atonement and restitution whose causes may be very diverse some will have an origin that is not difficult to understand but others you will discover only through intuition revelation and spiritual vision and so be able to relieve your brothers of a heavy burden so with many verses talking about this I think we kind of understand one of the main purposes of intuition is to help our brother without having to dig in and scratch the scabs in order to understand what's causing him pain we have intuition that tells us what's going on with him and then we can start to use our ability to pray in order to help that individual. Chapter 63 has a lot to say about intuition. Verse 388 says, I have come to give a reminder and a calling to your spirit so that by overcoming the influence of the material which has come to dominate him, he can make his light reach the heart and mind utilizing the gift of intuition all about using our intuition in order to help our fellow man so i hope you got something out of this video as far as intuition its development its uses its purposes where it comes from what is it if you did go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for future content as we tend to put out many videos related to lesser known scriptural truths and be sure to leave us a comment please tell us about your experiences with intuition and may our father bless you and keep you may our father make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you may our father lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace